I purposefully am not focused on just direct sourcing. Uh, and you heard me earlier call it direct to talent. It's more like the consumer model that's played out within just, just purchasing, right? Um, and so if you think about that, you know, you can now purchase things online. There's the direct to consumer model, right? I get on Instagram and I'm served all kinds of ads where I can literally just go purchase that pair of pants that I want versus going to Nordstrom like we used to to purchase those things. I'm thinking things like these digital marketplaces, right? Digital talent communities that are popping up left and right. But a lot of it is focused on that on-demand deployment of talent. There are also some out there that look like they're on-demand uh, deployment of talent and they aren't, right? They're just staffing companies behind a website with some new marketing. Uh, and then you have like freelance management that goes into this as well. And the historical way of dealing with that was to, you know, leverage a spreadsheet, emails, like just an old school system of managing freelancers. And so you now you've got tools going in place to manage freelancer flow, freelancer cycles. It's the digitization within staffing uh, that, that I'm studying, researching, and kind of like all of us just watching it unfold. It's an exciting chapter. I am a huge proponent of independent talent. Independent talent actually choose their clients, right? Or their clients choose them. And oftentimes they have multiple clients. To me, what's missing in a lot of these programs and the talent pools and like the strategy of it is accessing a true bench of independent talent that truly want to work on a project, hop off of that project, work on the next one. Uh, instead, a lot of companies are really just building a database that over time becomes stale, right? If you're not nurturing that community, you're not auditing that database, continually kind of cycling through the talent, it literally just becomes another database with millions of profiles. At any given time, 90% of that database is probably working on a full-time project contract or employed somewhere else, and they're not relevant in the talent pool any longer. So a, a mix of nurturing that community, as well as bringing in some talent that can truly be on demand, that you can pull in and out of projects.